Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to vertically stack Woo Gallery images inside Divi's product page template. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is to install WooCommerce. Now WooCommerce is a free plugin that allows you to create an online shop. So I'm going to come over here to plugins, click on add new. Now this is what you would do if you want to install WooCommerce. So I'm going to search for WooCommerce and the first result that shows is the actual plugin. And as you can see, it's been installed by over 5 million uh, people. So in your case, it's going to say install. So you want to click on install and then activate. So mine here is activated. So I'm going to come over here now to WooCommerce. In fact, I need to come over here to the products and click on add new. So let's give this product a name. So I'm just going to call it uh, my product. And then I'm going to come over here and add some text for my product description. Give it a price. And over here, I'm going to give this a short description as well. So pretty much we have a rough description of our product. Over here, we're going to add our product image. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to choose a bunch of products. So I'm just going to add this shoe here as our main product. And then over here on the product gallery, I'm also going to add uh, about three or four images. Okay, so um, since we're adding shoes here, I'm going to be consistent with that and add even more shoes. All right, so um, next I'm going to um, just go through this and choose the next pair of shoes. And here it is. I'm going to go with this one here, add it to the gallery. So you want to go ahead and add three more images. Okay, so now that I've added three images, this is great. Uh, we can go ahead now and publish this. All right, so now that we've added our product, the next step now is to build a template. So I'm going to come all the way down here to Divi and then click on Theme Builder. So I'm going to click here on this plus button to add a new template and then I'm going to target all my products. So I'm going to come all the way down here to products and then select all products, create template. And then now it's time to build our template. So what we need to do is to click here on add custom body and then build custom body. Next, we're going to click on build from scratch. And before I can add any content in here, I'm going to go to my section settings here and add a background color and I'm going to make it white. And by the way, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. All right, so over here now on the design tab, we need to add a top and bottom padding. So we're going to click here on spacing and our top and bottom here needs to be zero because we don't need any spaces both to the top and the bottom. All right, so now that we have this all set, I'm going to save this and then we're going to add our columns by clicking here on this plus button. So our column structure is going to be two thirds, one third. So I'm going to select this one here. Right, so now that I've selected my column structure, before we add any modules, we want to come over here to our row settings. Okay, next we're going to click on the design tab, sizing. And uh, first of all, you want to activate use custom gutter width. And we are going to set this to one. Now the gutter width is the space between the columns. I know right now we can't see it because we don't have any color. Okay, so I'm, next I'm going to set my equalized column heights to yes. Now I'm going to go to my width and we're going to set this to 95%. And for the maximum width, we are going to uh, set this to 26, I mean, 25, 60 pixels. And then for the row alignment, I'm going to say centered. And then I'm also going to add some padding here. So I'm going to go to spacing. And here we're going to add 100 pixels. And this needs to be both to the top and the bottom. But this 100 pixels needs to be only on the tablet and the phone. So let's just make sure that uh, we have this correct. Okay. And the phone as well, but not on the desktop. Okay. So I just need to correct that. Okay. There we go. All right. So now that we have our padding in place, the next step now is to add some CSS to our main element. And this CSS code I'm going to add is going to allow us to have all our columns pretty much next to each other, no matter what size the screen is. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to advanced tab and then I'm going to go to custom CSS and in the main element, I'm going to paste this CSS code. So it's important that you uh, add this CSS code. Okay, so now that we have our CSS code, I'm also going to add uh, the CSS code in the tablet. So I'm going to click here on the on this uh, icon choose tablets and then I'm going to paste this in here and pretty much that's all I need to do. Now, if you want to use the exact same uh, code as I'm using here, 
you can find it in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. All right, so the next step now is to uh, come back over here to content and then we need to uh, target the second column here. So in this column here, we need to add a gradient. So to add our gradient, we're going to come over here to background. Click on um, the second tab because this is what allows us to, to add the gradient. Click on the plus button and then I'm going to add my first color and I'm going to paste uh, my color hexadecimal value in here. Now, as I mentioned before, if you want to use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Next, we're going to come over here to the second color. Now, this one here is going to have some transparency. So make sure you drag this down a little bit so that you can get your RGBA values. So now I'm going to paste it like that. And this is full transparency, by the way. Next, we're going to come over here and change our gradient type to radio. And then we are also going to uh, set our start position. Now, our start position here is going to be 20%. And our ending position is also going to be 20%. Now we need to go to the design tab, click on spacing, because here we need to add uh, some top padding. So the top padding here is going to be 30% and the bottom padding is going to be 10%. And then left and right is going to be 5%. Now, since this is the same value, I'm going to activate this chain just to add the value to the other side. Now that we've added our padding, I'm going to hit save and save one more time. Now over here, you can see this is our gradient type that we've just added. So what we're going to do now is to add a images module to column one. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for image. But the image we need is the Wu images. OK, so make sure you choose the right one. So I'm going to select it. Now here you want to make sure that it's uh, set to this product. Right. So pretty much that's all we need to do here with this Wu images uh, module. I'm going to save this. Next, just below this uh, image, we're going to click here and add a code module. So I'm just going to search for it here and select it. So here in the code, I'm going to paste it like that. Now, this code can be found in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. All right. So now that we've added our code, we're going to go ahead and save. And then over here now, we're going to add our title. So I'm going to click on this plus button. And this is a Wu title. And here it is. So make sure it's set to this product. Now let's go ahead and customize this. So I'm going to start here with um, the title font. So I'm going to click here on this pencil icon and let's go ahead and choose our font. So our font here is going to be PT Sans. So I'm going to search for PT and here we go. PT Sans. Our weight here is going to be bold. Our text color is going to be black. And our size is going to be 84 pixels. So I'm going to come over here and set this to 84. So while we're here, we might as well set our sizes for the other devices. So for our tablet, it's going to be 60. And for the phone, it is going to be 45. There we go. Great. OK, so now that we have our main sizes, now we're going to add a Wu description module to column two. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to save this one here. Click on this plus button and search for wood description. And here it is. I'm select that. And now you can see we have our description text that we added on earlier on. OK, so first of all, it's set to this product. And then on the description type, we are going to choose short description. And now let's go to our text settings. I'm going to come over here. And for the text here, we're going to choose color. So I'm going to uh, search for it. And here it is. Next, I'm going to set my size and this is going to be 17 and our line height is going to be 1.9 so that we have enough breathing space between our text. OK, great. So now that we have this, we're also going to add a margin both to the top and the bottom. So I'm going to scroll down further and go to spacing and under our margins here, I'm going to set this to 5% and this is going to be both top and bottom. OK, so that's looking great. I'm going to save this next. I'm going to add the pricing. So I'm going to search for my Wu price. And here it is. I'm going to select that and uh, making sure it's set to this product. Now let's go to design pricing text. We're going to change this to PT Sans. We're going to change the weight to uh, bold. And we're also going to change the text color. And I want to click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here like that. And for my text size, I'm going to set this to 27. There we go. 
and then save. Next, we're going to add the wool add to cart. So I'm just going to search for add to cart here. And there we go. So I have my add to cart and making sure it's set to this product. Now, this is what ensures that um, this is going to uh, select whatever product you have on your page. All right, so let's go to our field settings here. So field background color. First of all, I need to come over here to design and we need to go to fields. Okay, so fields background color, this is going to be white. Our fields text color is going to be black. And then uh, our fields font is going to be open sans. So I'm going to search for open sans and here it is. There we go. Right, great. So I have open sans selected. Next, we're going to go to our fields, rounded corners, and we are going to set this to zero to all corners. And then we are also going to add a bottom border. Okay. So to do that, we want to select the, uh, this tab right here. And as you can see right now, we can't see anything. And that because we don't have the size. So we're going to set this to one. And now you can see it's now showing over here. Next, you're going to set the color. So I'm going to click here and paste my color like that. So now that we have this all set, the next step now is to stylize this button. So I'm going to come over here to button, activate, use custom styles for button. Now this is what's going to allow us to start working on our button and customize it. All right. So the first thing we need to do here is to uh, work on our text color. So I'm going to set this to white and then for our button background color, I'm going to paste my color in here. All right. So next we're going to add our button border radius. So notice what happens when I add 100 pixels. Now our button shape has changed and that's exactly what we need. Next, we're going to um, continue here and customize our button. And because we want consistency, we're going to change our button font here to PT Sans, which is right here. OK, and for the weight, it's going to be bold. And now let's further customize our button here. So what I'm going to do is to add some padding. So I'm going to add 20 uh, both to the top and the bottom and then 50 to the left and the right. So now we have a nice big button. Next, we're going to add a margin of 5%. So now that we've added all this, I'm going to hit save and then we need to save here as well. So I'm going to click on the three little dots, hit save. So I'm going to close out of here, hit save changes. And now it's time to take a look at our product. So now I'm just going to refresh this page and here we go. So this is our product. And when we click here, it just flips over and it shows our images. There we go. And then if we hover over it, it just pretty much zooms into this image. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.